One of the pleasures of traveling is being able to see how different people in different cultures live. While in each city you're going to find vehicles of some kind, shops, restaurants and hotels, each city does it just a little bit differently to suit their particular environment. Let's find out what Sweden's hotels have to offer. This time in Sweden, I stayed at two hotels. First, at the Skandik in Skellefteå, which is a city about a nine hour drive north of Stockholm. Then I did a quick layover at the Radisson Blue Arlanda. Both the Skandik and the Radisson Collection are fairly major hotels here in Sweden. In Europe, the ground floor is zero. I'm one floor up on one. Here's a quick preview of my room. So with most European hotel rooms, you have to stick your key card in here, operate all of the master controls, otherwise the lights don't work. I have a twin-sized room. The room is quite sizable by European standards. This is the bathroom. There isn't a bathtub or shower stall. The water drains directly into the floor. And you just close this curtain to separate out the toilet. I kind of love this feature about the bed. This is like a hospital bed. They give you a little remote control here. And you can press this. As well, this part of the bed. Kind of cool, huh? So you can see how the bed is completely risen up down here. Sweden is also exceptionally child-friendly, and everywhere I've gone, they've typically had a child play area like this. This is right next to the restaurant, and let's step up and check out the standard free breakfast buffet. They have shots of juice here, and you tip a little shot glass like this, and you fill it up. And they have, I think this is mango banana here, and this is blueberry, and this is rose hips. the typical eggs, bacon, sausage, vegetables. Being Sweden, there's an awesome selection of breads. There's a huge assortment of popular flatbreads and, of course, crisp breads. Digestives, rice cakes, vanilla wafers, biscuits, and more crisp breads. I'm going to take these and kind of do what I did at the cottage. Locally produced butter is a must. Pretty good selection of cheeses. Actually, what I'm gonna choose today is this Vasterbot cheese, which is a locally produced Swedish cheese. And I'm gonna try this, Lost Gotta Foster. And we top it off with some sliced meats, or pate, and pickles are a must. Finally, some veg. English cucumbers are standard. Pickled herring is so popular. This one is anchovy spiced, and this one is in a mustard sauce. There's some more exotic imported fruits and bowls of dried fruits and nuts. And over here they have an oatmeal station. You can add your own milk, applesauce, lingonberry jam, and I think this is cottage cheese over here. Uh, check this out. This is super popular here. This is called Kala. Uh, unfurl it a little bit. This is a caviar paste. It comes in a tube like this and you squeeze it onto bread mainly. Um, and you just eat it kind of like peanut butter. This is a cereal station and Swedes use fermented dairies like filmjolk and yogurts, usually with a granola. For cereal toppings, there are other types of grains, seeds, and fruit jams. Look, gluten-free. If you're lactose intolerant or vegan, there's all sorts of plant-based milks. This is kind of interesting. We've got all the uh, vegetarian pâtés in here. But you could also put on that toast that I had in lieu of meats. For beverages, there's a variety of options. This is a juice dispenser, which I've never seen before. 
your cup down there, and you pick what you want. Today I'll get exotic juice, and I just mix it for you. It's a concentrate. I just mix it with some water. And a variety of teas here. Loose leaf as well. And they provide some uh, French presses if you want to have French press coffee in the morning. And there's a sophisticated espresso machine in case you want a more instant brew. I'm going for some hot tea. A very popular activity in Sweden is to sauna and most major hotels have a sauna facility. We're gonna go in and check ours out right now. This Scandic has gender-specific bastu or saunas. This is the woman's side. There's little lockers here so you can tuck away your valuables. Lots of hooks and benches for changing. Blow dryer for when you're done. And uh, showering facilities in here. And here is the sauna inside. I'll show you it here, right here. Perfect. And usually you want to go to the pool to swim because you want to cool down after a hot sauna, but it's too early in the morning, so it's uh, locked on me. And just sit back and relax and enjoy. Oh yeah, you can feel that heat starting to permeate your body. En route back to the U.S., I spent one day at an airport hotel. And here's a quickie tour of the Radisson Blue Arlandia. This here is my room at the Radisson Blue. And it's kind of similar to what I had in Shalaktail. This is the room right here. Pretty standard. As within Shalaktail, there's not really a real closet. It's sort of a little cubby area. And then going here into the bathroom. The bathroom right here. As at the Scandic, there's no tub or stall. At least this one has a border. The other item here is that they sort their garbage. And I didn't film this in Chalefteo, but it's pretty much the same thing. You have a central bin here, which is for paper items. And actually that will probably go in there. And then you have one here which is typically for compostable organic matter. And you have one here for all other items. As with the Scandic, there's also a kid's playroom, part of that kid-friendly environment in Sweden. The breakfast buffet was included at this hotel as well. It's fairly similar to the one at the Scandic. Breads, meats, veggies, and cheeses. And you've got to have the collis. This time with a nifty squeezing machine for every last drop. There's hot dishes with Swedish pancakes this time. And eggs. Love the presentation. And the handy egg cups. Nutella, of course, is staple in every European country. This is the cereal station. Yogurt, fruit yogurt, and film yolk. This smoothie station offers Virgin Bloody Marys. Love it. Here's the kids' bar. Hey, they get donuts. And this is my meal here. Let's check out the sauna sitch here. Pool's open, going into the women's changing room. You shower right before you go in, and this is the sauna. Very nice. And there's a kids play area down here too. This is kind of interesting. Across from the Radisson Blue is what's called Jumbo Stay, and this is a converted 747. They've made it into a hostel and you can rent out uh, dorm style beds there. They've got a cafe. Kind of cool. Hope that was an interesting tour. Let me know how hotels are different in the country where you're from. Vicius Nastagong. Until next time. Peace.